14. WBAP, Mary, go ahead. What's running through your mind right now? Well, I mean, some people would say that I'm a lunatic, but you know what? When you have a president, especially in light of if everybody will remember, we still don't know what happened to the SEAL Team 6 after the bin Laden raid. And all of a sudden, in the last seven years since we've had this president who's pushing gun control, we've had, I don't, I'm not in front of my computer to verify the stats, but I'd be willing to say we've had more mass shootings in this presidency than any. And he has said, I'm not my my final act as president might you know i want to go out in grandiose style is to implement gun control well you know what it's not too hard to be an american that loves your country and believe that there is a conspiracy behind everything that's going on in this country with this president because he does not he does not care about the country or the people well he's saying that he wants the loophole that allows people on the tsa no fly list uh, to legally purchase firearms tightened up. If he's so concerned about our safety, why wouldn't he tighten up the refugee list of those coming in from Syria, mostly whom of whom are, are mainly uh, white, uh, excuse me, males uh, of military age? Wouldn't he tighten up that list first? He would, but he's not concerned. That's why he doesn't. And, you know, I never would have thought, I mean, I listen to people. I don't have Fox News. I don't have cable. I don't even want to watch it. I'm an, a, a person that makes informed decisions. I will look at everything I can via the Internet and kind of meet in the middle. This man has no love. He has a pure hatred for this country. It's almost like... All right, all right, all right. Let's not go into this. I know what you believe. We do not have any identification of who those suspects are. We do not have any motive for the shooting at this point. They know nothing. Every I knew it would be a nothing press conference. It's sad. You know, I watch the cops, the FBI, the DHS. I, I don't laugh at them. They have a murderously hard job. Terribly hard job. Their hands are tied. Their mouths are tied. They can't use common sense. They have to wait for a body bag and bring out the chalk. And the, they have to wait for the corpse to bring out the chalk and the body bag. That's all they can do in this age of over-lawyering. It's that simple. Because the left wing is out of control. The cops cannot preemptively detain dangerous people. Unconfirmed reports that the suspects were male and of Middle Eastern origin are circulating. I just read that to you. San Diego Union Tribune. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a radical right wing organization, the San Diego, uh, Union Tribune. It could be owned by some right wingers. I don't know. Maybe Nazis own it. But that's what they just reported. It's unconfirmed. Fluid situation. Uh, the president has no light on a motive. Doesn't know who did it, but he knows that he's got to grab those guns. That's all. Conference call where the conference where they were holding a banquet. Building houses, 25 employees, library, conference center. Goes in there, shoots it up, kills 14. Wounds 14. No one knows anything or who did it. They don't know where they are. How is it possible with such a police presence right after the shooting that they get away? I don't, I personally don't understand it. I'm thinking out loud. I'm talking with you as though we're in a bar hanging around waiting for, for news on this. And we're just talking to each other. Am I right? Ski masks, military gear, SUV that fled scene, heavily armed suspects. One rumor has it there was a man named Farik Saud coming out on a police scanner. Another one from the San Diego uh, Union uh, mail and of Middle Eastern origin. I wouldn't be surprised. 14 dead, 14 injured. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's put it this way. If it were males of Middle Eastern origin, would you be surprised? No. I'd say I'd be surprised if it wasn't males of Middle Eastern origin. Let's just put it that way. They've been telling us they're going to do it. So where does that leave you today? I'll tell you where it leaves me. I'll make it a very personal thing. I'll make it very simple, very personal. I'm one man in America. I happen to have a microphone with a very big radio show and a loyal audience that buys my books and follows me on Facebook. I'll make it very simple for you. If these rats are everywhere in this country, if these rats have invaded every corner of this nation because of Hussein Obama in the White House and because of him telling the brave men and women in our agencies to shut their mouths and look the other way even though they know who they are, tell me what it is that you would do personally to protect yourself and your family. Well, you'd make sure that your gun is oil, oiled and loaded. You'd make certain that you have sufficient ammunition and weaponry to protect yourself and your family. That's what you would do. And if you live in a state where you can carry, you will go and get a conceal and carry permit. 
and you will be vigilant, more vigilant than ever, because the government has let you down. Government zero has failed you again. You will have to protect yourself. It is each man for himself. If you are a liberal on medication in San Francisco or a liberal on medication in Manhattan, what would you do? Who would you blame? White male Christians? If they showed them pictures of them screaming this or that, they'd say white male Christians did it. They provoked it. George Bush did it by bombing Iraq. Nixon did it. There's no talking to them. And so in a crazy country like this, where you have a divisive leader who wants everyone to have scrambled eggs for brains and who has a left-wing agenda that doesn't quit, that doesn't stop, it comes down to defending yourself and your family the best you can. On that very tragically depressing note, I'll take a quick pause and be back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. The only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. You're listening to the Savage Nation with Michael Savage. Coming up tomorrow at 5, it's the KSFO Morning Show on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. How large is the homegrown threat from Muslim terrorism in the United States of America? Well, we don't know. Is this related to it? Or is this just workplace violence? Could be workplace violence. Could have been done by, um, well, we don't know. We shouldn't rush the judgment. Black SUV pulled slowly away from the shooting site. So they were mocking the police. They didn't even race away. They slowly rolled away. This is insane. Upwards of 14 dead, 14 wounded in a shooting at a, uh, a San Bernardino clinic for disabled people. Three heavily armed gunmen are on, are on the run in San Bernardino. I'm asking over and over again for two and a half hours. Where is the police helicopter? Where is a news helicopter? Why are there no news helicopters overhead? Why are there no police helicopters that follow the SUV? Where are they? O.J. Simpson went on for six hours, four hours, how many hours, I don't know. I watch this all the time. Oh, I remember. I think Governor Brown outlawed police chases. That's right. That's right. They were outlawed. The demagogue just back from Paris tells us that we need gun control now. I would say we need immigration control. We also need presidential control. I think we need presidential control immediately because the number of shootings has gone up since he's uh, taken office. If you want to do that analysis, go ahead. If you want to do cause and effect and statistical analysis, since this left-wing fanatic, this divider-in-chief, has been president, the number of mass shootings has gone up astronomically in this country. So you say, well, did he cause it? No. Then what is he saying? Guns caused it. So what is causing it? Well, you know, you can blame anybody you want, but today is another. It's a new world today. This is a new world. Witness says black SUV pulled slowly away from the shooting site. San Diego Union Tribune is reporting, really, males of Middle Eastern origin? Oh, I'm sorry, they pulled that down. That was up for a while, then it got yanked from the San Diego Union Tribune. Apparently someone saw that and said that, it got reported, and then immediately the censors at the uh, government-controlled San Diego Union Tribune pulled it off the story. Sorry, I didn't say that. It's unconfirmed. Okay, let's take some calls and see what America thinks right now on this program. WBAP Jeff, 30 seconds or less. Go ahead. Dr. Savage, not only do we need to look at who did this, but who was the target? Who were the victims in there? I mean, for an individual to go into a center like this and do what they did, it's pretty despicable. So could this be an honor killing in addition to striking terror in the hearts of American people? Because you know about honor killings in Islam and the women and the Namus, according to the... No, Muslim but hold on. That's a big topic, but it's not relevant today, Jeff, because first of all, we don't even know who did it. We have a suspicion it's going to turn out to be terrorism. But I wouldn't rush to judgment now and make it a, a so-called honor killing of another one of those fanatics. So let's leave that one alone. When you get on the show 30 seconds or less, don't ask me how I am. Just fire away. I'm going to give you the airtime. Okay, you ready? Are you ready to go? KSFO, Sam, fire away. Make your point. Yeah, if you look at the last few mass shootings that have been committed by individuals, you know, a case can be made um, most of the time that, you know, for insanity. 
And when you have three, upwards of three different shooters um, with tactical gear that are able to escape undetected, um, you know, I think it's naive to think this is anything other than terrorism. I mean, you're right, there's other possibilities, but there's certainly the high likelihood is that's the case. Absolutely. And what I, I, I'm finding this very perplexing, that a police chief would say they were armed with long guns. What are we living in, the age of the musket with black powder? Where did this idiocy come up calling a rifle a long gun? When did that originate in the English language? It, it's an antiquated term for rifle. What do you mean by a long gun? That's something that an idiot who doesn't know guns would use. Now the police are using it. What do you mean long guns? What was it, an AK-47 or what? What do you mean long gun? I, 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 the whole thing looks to me like obviously it's terrorism. And it's going to be covered up. Wearing military-style attire, according to police. Escaped in a dark-colored SUV, which we know. Now I had reports an hour ago that the SUV was abandoned. Has that been abandoned now, that story? Where are they on the way to a, stopping for a Starbucks on their escape route? And the police having to check their uh, their manuals on what they can do? Did they, did they stop and slow down uh, on on the chase because it may have uh, maybe it would have offended them if they chased them too quickly because Jerry Brown could have intervened and said you you're going too fast on a local street they could have arrested the police for chasing them too quickly after all you don't want to shock people look this is there's no jokes in this there's no jokes there's nothing light this is a gut wrenching moment more than a dozen killed gunmen on the loose they're on the loose with machine guns and all the king's horses and all the king's men report came out from the government identifying 300 active recruiters for ISIS and terror on social media. Now, you have to ask yourself, what sane nation doesn't go in and rip them out of their little houses and throw them into a dark cell and let them get the sick lawyers out of Stanford, out of adult law school at NYU to defend them? But you don't have them recruiting on our social media. Moreover, why isn't old Facebook stopping them? Why isn't Twitter forced to stop them from recruiting? What You put the dollar ahead of everything? That's number one. Look, if you're at war, which we are, we've been at war for, for quite a while now. The war is escalating. Oh, we don't know if this is terror. This could be just workplace violence. It could be a disgruntled employee who didn't like the wedding cake that they gave him. We don't, we don't know yet. We shouldn't rush to judgment. It could have been uh, just workplace violence along the lines of the Fort Hood Massacre. But the fact of the matter is, if they identify 300 active recruiters on social media, and the FBI says that they have, what, a 1,000 investigations underway of Arab, Muslim, potential terrorists, knowing where they pray, know where they eat, know where they drink, and they can't, they can't pull them in. They're waiting for Belgium. Belgium was following that animal for, for weeks or months or years. The animal, the mastermind, some mastermind, the degenerate throwback. They were following them for months. But because of the liberal laws in Belgium, they couldn't yank him in and throw him into a dark cell and let him rot. Well, here we are. Welcome to Belgium. Welcome to Belgium under Barry Obama. The same rules of engagement. You know, I pity the police in this country. I don't mean in a sense that they're weak. It's a sense that these strong men can't do their jobs. Because I can guarantee you as I sit here that the lawmen of this nation could probably stop terrorism in this country before it happened. If you gave them 48 hours to do what they wanted, they could stop terrorism in this country. Say, oh, come on, how could you say a thing like that? Now they're looking for these three men, these killers on the loose in San Bernardino. Where are they? Well, let's use common sense. Black SUV pulls slowly away from the shooting site. Why would it pull slowly away? To mock the police. That's why. Michael Savage says to mock the police. They're saying, go ahead. We'll show you. We'll kill handicapped people. You can't do a thing to us, and we'll pull slowly away, and you won't fire a shot. They mock the police. So where would they be hiding right now? Ooh, let's put two and two together. Let's see if the genius in the White House can help us figure that one out. Now, let's assume that they're not a Middle Eastern, uh, of Middle Eastern uh, descent. Let's assume for the moment that they have religious affiliation, but they're not Arab Muslim and they're not Muslims. They're not Arabs and they're not Muslims. Let's assume that they're Christians and they go to church. Well, what you do is search every church within a certain radius, right? Let's say they were Jewish. Could have been Jewish terrorists doing it to trigger World War III. You'll see that on the Internet before the show is over. The anti-Semites will be typing that one.